Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm your host, Carlos Benson, here again, bring you another video. I have a great show set up for you guys today. I'm going to talk about whether it makes sense to buy a $100,000 food truck or just to buy a simple concessions trailer. I'll give you my opinion. You chime in, give me your opinion, and we can have an open discussion about it. All right, as you guys check in, just let me know where you're checking in from so I can uh, know exactly who I'm talking to. And let me know if it's snowing in your area because it's been snowing for the past three days in my area. How you guys doing out there today? Give me a shout out. Let me know where you're checking in from. Let me know if you can hear me. My last video was crappy. It was lagging. I didn't know it until after I watched it. It was embarrassing. But anyway, give me a thumbs up. Give me a hell yeah. Let me know if you can hear me or not. We're going to let a few more people come in and we're going to start to chop it up, talk about these concession trailers, these um, $100,000 food trucks that people keep contacting me about. I try to give people tips, let them know that you can actually buy a food truck for a lot cheaper than $100,000. You can buy, you can find food trucks for $10,000 all day long. You don't have to break the bank and spend ten thousand and spend $100,000 for a food truck. Hey, what's up, Charvis? Good to see you again. Checking in from South Carolina. Tortilla Fulton. Hello, I can't believe I'm, I'm here live. Wow, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Pink Flamingo food trailer. Oh, you got to send me a picture of that. What do you sell, Tortilla Fulton? What do you sell out of your food trailer? And like I said, a lot of people think you have to spend like all this money to break into the business, but you actually don't. You can get started really, really cheap. If I had to do it all over again, I would do it the same way. I would just start out with a simple pop-up tent and then I would go, go into a food concessions trailer if that's what I wanted to do. But uh, me, myself, I personally like the pop-up tents because I just like people to be able to see all the action and stuff. But you can get into the business fairly, fairly cheap. I was online looking to uh, yesterday, excuse me, uh, Facebook Marketplace. They have tons and tons of food concessions trailers on there for cheap. I mean, you can find food concessions on there, trailers on there for three, four, five thousand dollars all day long. You obviously got to make sure they are they're outfitted with the equipment that you need for whatever menu you're having, but you can find them all day long. But it's a little bit more difficult finding a, a food truck for that price, let alone a, a new food truck. A new food truck, brand new food truck, fully outfitted. Is going to run you anywhere from 50 to 100, 100 grand. And a lot of people just don't have that money to spend. They just, um, but people, you can scrape up five, ten thousand dollars, but it's harder to scrape up a hundred thousand dollars. Trust and believe. Me personally, I think you should start off small, see if you like the business, see if, 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 if it fits you fits your personality because this business uh it definitely takes a, a certain type of personality to um to run this type of business tortilla fulton barbecue french fries funnel cakes corn dogs shaved ice mini donuts i just won the machine won the machine yeah and fresh squeezed lemonade man you got the perfect business i've dreamed of selling those mini donuts since i was probably 20 years old I just never, never bought the machine. Funnel cakes, you can't lose with funnel cakes. Fresh cut fries, are you selling fresh cut fries? Because you definitely can't lose with fresh cut fries. And we, and everybody knows what, what that lemonade is all about. If you got any sense in the concessions business, you know that you can make a lot of profit off of lemonade. But yeah, uh, Tortilla Fulton, man, I, I swear to God, I used to go on the internet back when we had to, the phone connector where that <laughs> where it made that crazy sound, bringing up the website for those mini donuts, wishing and hoping I could come up with the five or six grand and what to uh, buy that equipment. I just never got into it. Maybe I still will one day. Maybe I still will. Oh yeah, Tortilla Fulton, you gotta you you gotta get those fresh cut fries. It's you can make a lot more profit. You figure. Um, a 50, a 50 pound bag of potatoes, you can get, I guess for around 20 bucks now, um, 
You can make $250 off of that. How can you beat that? The profit is ridiculous. Tortilla Fulton, thank you. You've been following me for two years. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate the support. It's amazing when you hear people say that they've been following you and uh, and you don't know. And a lot of people tell me that I've helped them start their businesses. I appreciate everybody, all the support you give me. And uh, thanks for following me. Madman Media, checking in from South Carolina. This question is for the guy from Charleston, or if you know, okay. Are food tents legal in South Carolina? I want to go with the cheapest legal option in South Carolina. Oh, I'll let you answer that. All right, all right. Don't forget to tell me where you're checking in from. We're talking about whether you really need to spend a hundred grand on a food truck, or can you break into the business with just a concessions trailer or even a tent set up? We all know it's a lot cheaper breaking into this business the the other way with a concession trailer or food truck. Now, if you have the hundred thousand dollars and you have um, the menu set up, maybe you've been in the restaurant business, maybe you've been doing this for a long time. You got the perfect menu, the perfect location. You have the money. Go, go for it. I say, go for it. If you have all that in, in place, go for it. But if you're just getting into the business and you really haven't done this business before, I, I, I would not recommend jumping in with a hundred thousand dollar concessions trailer. I mean, food truck. I would try to get, Get my feet wet, start with a pop-up tent set up or a cheap concessions trailer. There's people all day long giving up on this business, getting rid of their trailers. And all that does is spell opportunity for you. That's all it does. It spells opportunity. There's opportunity everywhere. It's endless opportunities. And the great thing about our business is if it's not working out in one location, guess what? You pick up and you move to another location. You don't have to stay there. So you, if you fail in this business, it's your fault. It's, it's absolutely your fault. How can you fail in a mobile food business? It's impossible because you have to go where the people are. And you have to go make sure that you're selling the food that the people in that area like. Because different ethnic gr groups and they like different food. So you have to make sure you sell what the people like and make sure you have fair prices and your food tastes amazing. Don't forget that is very important that your food tastes absolutely amazing. I'm glad you guys tuning in with me today. It's kind of early. It's been snowing like for three days here. So I've been off work for a couple days. So that's why I'm checking in so early. Glad to see a couple of you guys are able to check in with me to we'll talk about this uh, this food truck thing. I get a lot of people that contact me every day about these cheap food trucks. And I'm just I'm thinking to myself, you know, why don't you just why don't you just get a concessions trailer? You know what I mean? Instead of trying to break the bank with a food truck, if you're on a budget like that, you know, why spend all your money on a on a food truck? Why don't you spend your money on marketing um, a pop-up tent? Get you some fantastic looking banners. Get you some great signs. Get you some great menu. Get you Also, when you have your pop-up tent, once you set up, get your color scheme together. Make sure that you have a, a, a nice looking setup, a presentation, something that draws people in. I see a lot of people that just set up a table and there's nothing wrong with setting up a table in the beginning. But make sure your table's attractive. Make sure it's, um, it's clean. There's a lot of vendors out here just living the trife life, I'm telling you. Like you look at their booth, you won't, you don't even want to go and eat there. Look at their food truck, food trailer. Look inside there. Be cautious before you buy from people because everybody is not clean. You got to be professional out here. You got to make people want to come back. Make people want to eat at your booth. Tortilla, I have a pop-up trailer. We got it out for tailgate. I Bought it for 500 They were asking for 2000 That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Finding a good deal. People, they don't, you don't realize, I have a, so many people tell me you can't find a good deal. This is proof right here. Tortilla Fulton found a $2,000 trailer and bought it from them for $500. You got to go out and find deals. Deals are not going to fall in your lap. There's a gazillion trailers and uh, pieces of equipment. I, the only equipment that I haven't been able to find 
used a lot on the internet are funnel cake fryers. I don't know what it is about funnel cake fryers, but it's hard to find used funnel cake fryers. And I'm not talking about those funnel cake fryers that are electric. I would stay away from those. I got about three or four of those sitting in the, in the shed because you need a, a one hell of a generator to run those things. And I didn't know that in the beginning. But gas funnel cake fryers, it's hard to find them used. That's why if you see the new ones, they're uh, sky high, supply and demand. Tortilla Fulton says she painted her trailer pink. That's 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 a good idea. And I bet you that trailer stands out like a sore thumb at a festival. That's what you should your goal should be. You need to stick out at a festival. Don't just blend in and look like everybody else, every other Joe Smo at the festival. You need to stick out like a sore thumb. You want your banners higher than other people's banners. You want your banners more attractive than the other people's banners. You want your logos on your trailers. Your logos on your food truck, you want them to stick out from the other people. And that's what I was saying. Instead of going out and breaking a bank and spending a hundred grand on a food truck, why not get you a nice little cheap concessions trailer, spend seven, eight grand on it, and then freak it out with decals? I mean, freak it out with decals. And I guarantee you'll be crushing them at every event, killing the competition. Don't be that guy, that one lonely guy. You know, you see him at every event. That one lonely guy, <laughs> you could tell he just got in the business, sitting out there in the middle of the field with a little pop-up tent and a little piece of equipment, little shaved ice shaver, sitting there lonely by himself all day, not making no money. I see it all the time, and I just feel so bad. I want to go over and talk to him, and but, you know, everybody's not open for advice. But don't be that guy. You can avoid all that. I did it. I did it. I showed you the thumbnail the other day from the video uh, the other day that I made of me sitting there. I was that guy sitting there, not making no money, just looking crazy. Tortilla Fountain says, you taught me on the colors needed to stand out, and I took your word. That's good. I hope it's working out for you. You definitely need to use the right colors. I mean, if you look around, look at all the uh, major restaurant chains, fast food chains. They use certain colors for a reason because it works. It works on people's psychology. Certain colors make you want, make you hungry, make you want to take action. So you got to make sure you use, use those bright colors. Look at it. Look at McDonald's, Burger King. Look at all those restaurants and, and see if all their colors aren't similar. It's not by coincidence. It's a reason that they use those colors because it invokes people's emotions and makes them want to re uh, hungry, makes them want to eat, take action. If I, I was there in a tent, man. I know what you are talking about. My tent blew away. Yeah, I didn't have tents blow away. Like I didn't have several, at least three or four tents blow away like tumbleweeds. I'm telling you, once you get your money up, don't buy those cheap tents anymore. Once you really, really get your money up, buy a commercial tent. Those commercial tents are very, very expensive. If you if you go to the state fair, look at those vendors that have those commercial tents, and the, with the real thick poles. I'm talking about the real commercial tents. The, the vendors at the fair that sell food that use commercial tents. Those tents cost thousands and thousands of dollars, but they're worth it. Like you don't have to worry about. Those windy days, and it seems like every day is a windy day at an event, and you got to be holding on to your tent. That that's it's embarrassing for number one, and it takes time up. Your stuff is blowing everywhere. So while you're using those little small rinky dink tents, at least anchor them down real good so you don't have to hold them because every day seems like a windy day for some reason at a, at an event. Every single day. Tortilla Fulton. So worth commercial tents expensive, but yeah, yeah, they're definitely worth it. I mean, you're going to put money out there and most likely if you're just getting into business, you're not going to be able to afford a commercial tent to put three or $4,000 out for a commercial tent. But, um, it's, it's worth it in a long run. Sorry, I'm blowing up. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, where you guys, uh, you guys operating out of tents, trailers or a food truck. And what are you, what is your opinion on, operating 
from the, when you're just getting into the business, do you think you should invest in a hundred thousand dollar food truck? Or do you think you should ease into the business and um, start with a tent or a, a concessions trailer operation? What do you, what do you think? What's your opinion? Chime in and let me know. Yeah, I'm excited too. I can't wait for these events to start going. I'm, I've been in the lab, like pinky in the brain. I'm telling you, I've been in the lab trying to make my business better, trying to uh, set up so I can make more money. I'm going to better events. I'm not wasting time. The events in the past that didn't work out, wasn't a lot of people. I'm never going again. Like I'm not wasting my time on anything that didn't work. I'm going to try to find bigger and better events. If I got to travel outside of my area, I'm just going to travel outside the area. I'm not, you know how much work it takes to set up to do an event and then you get there and you lose money. That's not a good feeling. So I'd rather put myself in position to make money instead of going out to an event and losing money. What do you think? Right, right. Go, go slowly, work your way up, then you'll be stressed. Yeah, work your way in slowly. Don't go out there and uh, blow the bag on a food truck because all you have is a food truck. And if it doesn't work out, that hundred grand that you spent on that food truck, trust and believe you're not going to get a hundred thousand dollars when you sell it. You'll be lucky. Excuse me. You'll be lucky if you spend a hundred grand on a food truck and a year later it doesn't work out for you. You give up the business and you try to sell that food truck. You'd be lucky. You'll be the luckiest person in the world to get $50,000 for that food truck. So, I, I highly recommend start out with a concessions trailer in the world. Sorry about that. Start out with a concessions trailer or tent operation and then ease your way into getting a food truck or a restaurant. I don't, whatever your long term goal is, your goal may just be to set up and have multiple setups, multiple tent operations. Like I said, I know a lady that does. 18 tent operations at some events. I mean, some weekends she has 18 tent setups at different events. Sometimes she may have three at one event, one at another event, two set up at another event, but she's grew her business to the point where she's 18 strong on a weekend, on a Saturday. And I promise you that she's winning. She's winning. Or you may be the guy that wants a fleet of food trucks. You got to build up to that. You got to make sure you get one food truck, make sure that system's working. You got the right menu. You're going to need the right help. And then you just branch out slowly. One food truck, two, four, five, then maybe 10. And you'll be winning. Same way with the concessions trailer. A friend of mine, he has three concessions trailers. He grosses 250 grand each trailer each season, not last season, obviously because of this craziness, but he's found the right events. Once you find that, that right uh, event, the right events for the season and you're grossing that good money, you're never going to want to give that event up. You just have to keep finding different events like that. And that's how you end up leaving and going full time in the business. All right, guys, anybody got any questions? Uh, if not, I'm going to go on and cut on out of here. Tia Fulton says, health department, don't let us at events, but have to pay $150 each time. Oh, my God. $150 for a health permit? That is ridiculous. In Delaware, it's free. You don't pay at all. Now, in Maryland, uh, different counties, some counties you have to pay, but in Delaware, um, it's free for the health department. Yep. All right, guys, I'm about to cut out of here. I appreciate you joining me today. I got to get some sleep. I've been up all night. Uh, I appreciate you coming out and enjoying your little afternoon with me. Don't forget to like and share the video. And um, I'll talk to you next time.